What up, people? This is Bunjo. Today, we're in Valencia. We're going to try the traditional treats that every tourist, every person should try when they're coming here to Valencia. We're going to try the horchata, the churros, and a few other things. Empanadas, maybe. Who knows? Some Luciano's ice cream from Mar del Plata. But we're going to explore everything here in Valencia. And hopefully, you like it. It gives you a good idea what to try and what not to try. People, remember, you got to click like and subscribe to keep this channel going. There's lots of people that watch it that haven't subscribed yet. Try to get me up to that 5K mark, please, by next month. Let's do it. This is Bunjo. Look at what we found, a Luciano's. It's an ice cream parlor from Mar del Plata here in Valencia. Look at that, eh? So this place is from your hometown? Yes. Of Mar del Plata? Dulce de leche crocante. Mm. What do you think? Why, why is it out here, eh? In Valencia? I don't know. <laughs> it's great. And it's from your hometown and you said you one, claim... One kilo is 26 euros. For ice cream? <laughs> Jesus. It's as much as we pay for the retail and Holy shit. Where do they import this from? Mar del Plata? I don't know. What are you getting? One of these? Or are you getting an ice cream scoop? What are you getting here? I should get a... A cheesecake, a pistachio, huh? A cup of pistachio, maybe. Look at that one. That one looks good. Pistachio and croc. Chocolate blanco, white chocolate and pistachio croc. That looks nice, doesn't it? What are you gonna fruticha, fresa? Why do they call it fresa instead of fruticha? Eh? Look at this, though. The seats are trains in here and everything. Look at this. It's like a little. Look at this. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like a little toy factory in here. Mickey's ordering. Enzo wants one of these. El panda, oh, panda? Yeah, we'll get it. La panda de Enzo. Which one is? Which one says la panda? Would you like to try the the pistachio? Yeah, pistachio. So we're getting two two cones. Yeah. One for you, one for me. I want one in a cup. You want one in a cup? Okay. Small one. Yeah, a small cup. Only pistachio. Only pistachio. And Enzo's gonna get a one of these. I don't know which one says panda. Do you guys see it? Oh, there it is, right there, the panda. Throw. No, I got it here in my pocket. You might have to use my card. Look at this one. See the panda there? That's Enzo. Look at little Enzo scoop. You're getting a little Enzo, honey. Are you excited? Look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, you're getting one. Yeah, he's getting a little a little panda. Let's go sit down in the train. Watch this. Let's go sit down in the train. Here's Enzo in the little train, the little train conductor. Look how cool this place is, though, eh? It's a cool place. <laughs> Look at this, huh? I like this place. I can get used to this, no? Look at this. Wow. Incredible. I like this place. I can get used to this. I'm excited to eat my pistachio little scoop. I wonder how much this costs, don't you? Kind of wonder because the production of this store alone seems like it costs an arm and a leg, especially when I heard. 26 euros for a kilo of ice cream what? I don't know is that normal I never bought ice cream by the kilo only bought something else Ooh. Enzo with his little Enzo ice pop what flavors did you get from the Mardo Plata Luciano store I get chocolate because you when you have a ice cream like this you always have to put a chocolate and then it's um for cheese teacher. with uh Cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. How you call it? Forest, forest berries, I think you call it. That's crazy. But let's try this bad boy. This is what 
Big pump. The pump guy. What'd I get? <laughs> I got the old passion fruit. I got the passion fruit. Look at this. This is passion fruit. Mmm. Passion it's fruit good. cheesecake. It's different. It's good though. Ah. Uh -huh. When you said like, oh, it's different. Sit down beside me, relax a little bit, will you? You're making me nervous standing in. What are you doing? Oh, damn. Here, try this. <laughs> it's not bad, huh? Mm. And you got the little Luciano. Oh, real flavors here, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like chips. God damn, I love chips. Mm. I think if you get ice cream, mm. you gotta get pistachio. I think she thinks you gotta get chocolate, which I I agree with that too, partially. Me, I wouldn't get chocolate, but I understand why. But pistachio is my all time favorite. Used to be cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough, but this is not bad. This is a rare time you'll see me enjoying an ice cream, man. Yes. And That's the... good. It's cheese. Can you believe that this is cheese? Enzo, here, honey. Honey. Woo! Mm. We are saying bye in the big way. Huh? Why are we wild? Oh my god, um, chocolate's amazing. Why? Because um, we're spending a lot <laughs> in our last day. We're like, screw it. We've been doing good on the budget. Let's spend everything. Yeah. Mm. But this ice cream is damn good. Look at it. It is. Show them that panda. I don't remember eating this in, in Cordoba. Yeah, we had it when you were pregnant. Remember? No. She doesn't remember, I do. It's right on the corner, right beside the Starbucks in that shopping mall. Yeah. Mm. But I don't remember if it was Luciano. Yeah, it was. That was Mardal Plata's Luciano's ice cream bar. Now let's go over to the the Horchataria de Santa Catalina. The famous Valencia Horchataria. Our next stop on this Valencia taste test menu is this place, this Horchataria, eh? A famous place. It's very famous. Yeah, and it's beautiful so far. Let's get in there. Let's get in here. Look at this. Look at the tile work. Pretty cool, huh? You got it? Let's get in there. Let's get in there, eh, son? We can chill here, huh? Right at the front? No, that'd be side people. Come in. Uh, right over here. Let's get out here. Eh? This is a hard spot for us. So. Is that for you? Yeah, it's hard for here. Beside me. Move. She said it's only a video. I mean, uh, only picture. We can't do a video. Uh, so I'm doing video anyways because. I'm paying for a horchata. Stop being mean. I'm Just not being mean. That's not being mean. That's... So far, we've been sitting here for 10 minutes. Not even a peep. Not even a menu. Not even nothing. Nobody's talking to us. Yeah? Nobody. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people, but there's a lot of servers. So let's go for Chataria, Santa Catalina. Santa Catalina or Chataria. Look at that. The famous Santa Catalina. The plastic napkins are back here in Santa Catalina. These I've only seen in Argentina. Now I've seen them in Spain. Plastic napkins, hear that? So this is the horchata, this is the fortans. These are typical Valencia treats along with the churros con cho chocolate, eh? Yes. And uh, coffee with milk. You're supposed to what? Dip this in? Exactly. Look at it. Dip this in. Mm. Damn. 
Tastes better? That's damn good. Oh, no way. Try it. Like this? <laughs> It's pretty good, no? Because this is sweet, so it gives us... Yeah, so it gives this a little bit of flavor. Because these by itself just taste like bread. And I was hating on them. I was, up, I was eating them wrong because you're supposed to have a horchata. But damn, that's good. Now let's dip into these. This is churros, but these one are Spanish churros. They're not the Asian type wine. <laughs> Look at that. Is that good? That's a good one? Let me try. What does this taste like? Okay, this alone, without the pork tongs, it tastes like a cake cow. Like, a, like if a cake cow will make give, meal. Make meal. <laughs> okay, what's your real opinion now of it? Uh, the place is beautiful. They have uh, delicious things to eat and drink. Just don't order their chocolate. <laughs> Just don't order. And it doesn't taste better <laughs> with chocolate. Not, no, it doesn't taste better. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah, eh? horchata. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't mind it, but it tastes like, like oat rice milk. milk. Oh, yeah, yeah, something, weird. something, yeah, something rice milk, but really sweet. Just like I don't know, it was okay though. Uh, and in the a rest was of good. Yes, in a couple of minutes, the place was full, totally yeah, packed. Totally packed. But this is it. This is the place here with the beautiful tiles. They don't allow filming, so watch out. Let's move on from the horchateria all the way to the fartons, the next breakfast treat of Valencia. These guys go crazy for fartons. We're going to try a whole bunch of uh, stuff that they make here with our coffee. It's early morning. It's not so early. Around 10, 10.30. Yeah. It's okay, but it's so cold. It's freezing. It's so cold, but it's still sunny. You can see the sun. It's still a little bit sunny. So once we get into that sun, it'll be warmer, but the shadows are freezing. But we're gonna go try some. We've seen these uh, things called fartons. I don't know. Fartons is a weird name, but uh, we're gonna go try them because they have a good name, and they make you fart tons, eh? <laughs> I don't know if that's I true. Some coffee and other sweets. Other sweets, and try it out. The taste of Valencia in the morning, and it's pretty mild morning here. Not so busy. It's Saturday. It's Saturday, yes. It's Saturday. So we're gonna go try them out right now. Yesterday we went to a kids park and we had a, a relaxed day. And today we're gonna get busy with the camera a little bit and walk around the city. And that's it, you know? Shop a little bit here and there and look around. Try some sweets, you know? That's it, this is Banjo. We're walking by the place now, I think. The place with the fart tons. So there's a guy playing music. Hopefully it's no copyright because he's playing a popular song. But it's a parody. Look at this guy. The famous bullfighter. I don't know. You know this guy? I don't know this guy. We're in front of the bullfighting stadium, so he has to be a bullfighter. Um, what do they call it? Valenciano Manolo Mantolino. Yeah, Manolo, eh? Montalive, 1992, jeez. 1992, I think, that, I don't know if that's when that was built there, or if he's from 1992. But, that has to be when that statue was put there, 1992, eh? That guy can't be from 1992. Can't be. Just can't be. But here we are, somewhere. We're pulling up somewhere. I remember seeing it here, eh? Did you? Yeah. Right here, Grenier. Granier fart tons. I think it's right here. And they're in the window. He's banging? Right here, fart tons. That's it. Yeah, see, fart tons, they look like strudel. Five for 150. So I guess we gotta get five, huh? That's a lot. 
No, but we also we're going to train another thing. Alright, that's a lot of fart tongues, I think. Five fart tongues? Five. Good pack here. Uh oh. Is it got chocolate fart tongues? Go. Yeah, yeah, I guess we have to have it to go. Here, actually, I'm gonna chill out here. What else are you gonna get? I guess these are all sweet and these are all savory, eh? I'm gonna go sit out here, okay? And then I'm gonna wait out here for Mickey because why not? So we have a seat. I'll let her, the woman, pay for it now. Ah, uh, but yeah. We're excited. We haven't really tried a good breakfast, like a traditional Valenciano breakfast. It's basically just a coffee and some sweets. And here we are. We're out here now, so let's get it. It's beautiful. Right down here is a little shopping district. They have this um, store called like Prima, Prima something. It's where you buy cheap. It's kind of like an H&M, something like an H&M or uh, a Zara. Same kind of deal. It's like decent clothes for a fair price and uh yeah this is the corner down here is the shopping district by lefties over here lefties the woman man teen kids baby sign you go straight there's a shopping mall the shopping mall is like it's weird you know how traditional shopping malls have like stores with walls and windows and they separate from each other this one is just an open concept the whole mall is just open concept so there's no walls you can walk in and out of stores like crazy and it's just like one section's books one section cds one section's electronics one section's clothing and all that kind of stuff but it's kind of it's kind of wild that mall it's like you, you just walk in there's no doors inside or nothing no separation from anything it's pretty cool i enjoyed it but uh yeah i had to go because i got sick from the a little tummy ache from the water so i had to go to a, a mall if you know what i mean and now there's a Taco Bell over here. Too bad Taco Bell. You gotta be rich to eat here. Jeez. Jeez, you gotta be rich to eat at Taco Bell. Jeez, 10 euros each person for a taco? What? What are we talking about? Three tacos for 10 euros? What? Oh, Mickey's in there getting some fart tons. Yeah, Valencia is pretty wild. It's like, the way I uh, describe it is kind of like, it's, like Barcelona, but more, more a little bit more tame, you know? A little bit more calm down, a little bit more higher class and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, it's pretty nice here. I like it. I like it. Where I live here? Nah, I like where we live. We live in Croatia, it's nice. Maybe, maybe one day. Here's some fart tons. Look at that. Look at this, yes. We got someone else's dirty uh, tray beside us, but look at this. What the fuck? It's literally just. Disculpa, si necesito la mesa tendrás que levantarte. La habéis pedido para llevar. Lo va a tomar aquí, vale. Ah, I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. To go. To go. En la otra cola. All right. To go. All right. So yeah, I have it to go. <laughs> it's insane. So they don't want you to eat here. This place. You have to leave which is insane because we just bought food so now they want us to leave which is weird so i guess we're going the fart towns are shit anyways it's just like some powder some bullshit powder and that's it not good so that was a bit frustrating we have a baby we bought food and we can't eat there you know how, because I guess apparently we got it for a to-go container. She said, just like, to-go, and she yells. I think because we got it in a to-go container, that means we have to have it to-go. But sometimes when you order a bunch of food and a few and a couple coffees, you don't have time to finish it all. So you want to sit down for a second, especially when you have a baby. But these idiots just kick you out. It's, it's, it's weird. It's the oddest thing. Watch, this old lady, she's just gonna order a coffee and that's it. And we order food and a coffee and we get kicked out. I don't understand it. It's insane. And we have a baby, so I don't, I don't even understand it. 
So yeah, I don't recommend that place, Garnier or whatever it's called. Yeah, awful, awful place. Weird, 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 weird. But that's life in Valencia, I guess. They don't care for babies, they want you to go. The fartons were not my favorite. They're kind of dull, plain and blah. I wouldn't have them, but I guess they're good with horchata. But I wouldn't have them again, I don't think. I don't like fartons, Valencia. But now we're going on to something I like a little bit more. Sangria and Agua de Valencia. Let's go. This is the place that we're going to have our Agua de Valencia. It's six euros and a sangria for five euros over there. See that? Lizaran. And it's a tapas joint. But we're right here in the square, you know. The rooftop bar is just over there. The, Ar the Porteños Argentine Steakhouse is over there. The skating rink and the square is over there. And then Tiki Taco is over here. So we're going to Tiki Taco after this, but this is just a little, what's this going to taste like? This uh, Agua de Valencia, the Valencia water. I know Valencia water gives me the poop, so this one gives me the poop, so I don't know. We're going to check it out though, you know? It's right beside the subway. If you eat subway, you know, it says a lot about yourself, especially you're going to pick a sub over all this good food that's around here and you're gonna pick a subway sub and like give me a break son the lizarin agua de valencia look at this what happened everything's grooving yes you're going to bring it us i already paid so how much was it 11 11 euros just like the ad say no holds bar right eh? and does the tap pass or the pinch pinchos look good they look good but I don't think it's the place the good. So no? let's see. <laughs> oh, the place has not mm. 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 <laughs> So it looks like a little... But, uh, but there's lots of locals or tourists? Oh, uh, I don't know. You I can't couldn't, No, I couldn't recognize. Yeah. Do you think there's lots of tourists here? Not today. It feels like you see. Uh, finally, less yeah. people. The old teeth sucker. <laughs> But yeah, we're waiting for our Lizaran Sangria and our Lizaran Agua de Valencia. And here it comes actually, as we speak. <laughs> Sangria? Sangria, gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Ooh, these are bigger than I thought, huh? And they look amazing in a nice cup. Yeah, what were you just saying? You don't know about <laughs> this place? What were we saying? Cheers, huh? Let's try this bad boy out. We're gonna try this. Well, here, we're going to take a quick Instagram picture. Yes. <laughs> you have to, you know that you have to drink both of this. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Try this one. Oh my God. This is supposed to be very, uh, how do you say, very strong. strong, very alcoholic because they put rum, they put like all liquors. Well, wow. so let's see. Oh my God, it's so good. It's good, huh? It's good. It's not that sweet. I thought it will be sweeter. How about this one? Taste that one? You can put it down. It's kind of big. They're kind of heavy, huh? Aren't they heavy? How do you like that? This one is more sweeter than this. Now try both of them together. I, I like more this one. Yeah, I don't. The sangria is a little bit. It's good? Yes, but you can tell that it's cheap. <laughs> it's made with cheap products. Whoa, look at Speaking of <laughs> bad boys with a gun. See the <laughs> guns on those bad boys? Let's try these bad boys together, huh? This will get you a hung hangover for sure. Oh my god. Like if I drink both of these, I'm dead tomorrow. You didn't drink any you didn't eat anything. No. We bought these for the video. I don't know if I'm gonna kill both of these because it's kinda crazy, but it's too much. If I had it's to pick sweet. one, I would definitely pick the orange one. I, even though I don't know. No, I like the red one actually. You like the red one? I like them. I think together they actually taste better. 
because they both are missing something in each of them, eh? Yeah. And it's, this one's like too sweet, this one's too, uh, I don't know, like kind of hard. And there's a, mm. But damn, I gotta go to a taco joint after this. Our burger cake. This is another what? typical Valencia thing, eh? You want me to try it? Yes. They give you this with your beer, it's like beer and peanuts. How is it? You gotta suck, get through the butt of it. It says, what, what's it in Spanish? Suck it through the culo, eh? Culito. Culito. How is it? It's it's kind of good, eh? We know the skin is better. And yeah, it really just tastes like really salty. <clears throat> yeah, the, I don't know. Really salty, but I don't know. It kind of grows on you. At first, it was like, what the hell is this? And now it's like, that's not so bad. It makes you want to drink more beer, that's why. That's pretty much why. It's really salty. It's salty like you're...